back today. I know I usually do unboxing, so I'm gonna do one right now. That's what we're doing today. Today I'm gonna install bolt buckles. Um, on the dink machine here, we've had this style ever since we purchased the boat, and they just continuously fall off, fall apart, come out. Um, as you can see, it's not even broke, it just completely slips out. So today we're going to go over the installation of it. Now what you wanna do before you do any installation is you always wanna check and see if you have clearance for what you're about to drill. Make sure you're not drilling through any wires or anything like that. Uh, fortunately, the boat buckle rod buckle that we're putting in today comes with a template to measure with and it is really just it's not that deep it's two inches so we're going to open up here and see if we have clearance make sure there's no wires or anything under here where we're going to be drilling and we will go from there all right so we've checked our clearance we're good um first thing we're going to do past that is take off the old buckles going to take our template and figure out which direction it's going we want it to go this way so we're going to go ahead and cut out our template and this is the direction we're going this is where we want the template All right, we've got our template where we want it. I'm gonna take a Sharpie and I'm going to color a line to where we know where we're going to be cutting. And there we go, we've got our hole we gotta cut out and let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is cut our carpet to where we're not drilling through carpet and ripping the threads that go all the way through. It just makes it a lot easier if you go ahead and cut the carpet and get it out of the way. It's cut. We got our hole. How I like to do it is I will drill my corners out in all four corners. That way I can get my jigsaw blade in there to where I can go ahead and cut my square out. Four corners. Let's get the sawzall on it. All right, we got our hole cut out, and it fits, but it's kind of tight. Um, I'm gonna take the file and kind of clean up the edges and stuff to where it fits in there just perfect, nice and snug, and we're gonna go from there. All right, we got our hole cleaned up. Our rod buckle fits. 
down in there just perfect nice and snug i'm going to take a sharpie and mark my holes for grilling and i'm gonna drill my holes all right i got my holes drilled i'm gonna get my vacuum and clean it up real quick and move on all right so i got my silicone i got my rod buckle already in there i'm gonna put a little bit on the tip and put the screws in that way it's in there never use anything but a screwdriver when you're screwing into your boat because if you use an impact or a drill when you're actually putting the screws in you run the risk of snapping off any kind of stainless because stainless is not as strong as it really needs to be for this stuff but it does just fine there we go rod buckles in all right and for the last part when we mount this uh, it's where your rod buckle class two you want to take a measuring tape and measure 18 to 24 inches away from where it comes out to where you know you'll have plenty of space but on this this is the back side this is for a passenger on the boat so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to go quite 18 i'm going to go 16 just because it doesn't matter if i go any further than that it's just going to be blocked by the seat and we'll get ready to drill our holes looks like the existing holes uh, are going to make are going to work for the back tube so i'm going to go ahead and get some silicone I guess I need to vacuum that up first. That'd be fine. We'll get it afterwards. There we go. We've installed a rod buckle. It's not very hard, it doesn't take very long. Once you figure out how to do it, it's something you'll never forget. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like what I put out, please like the videos, comment on them. If you have any suggestions, if you think I did it wrong, just let me know. I'm always open to criticism and I'm always open to attaboys. Like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Just remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. <laughs>